So here we are, February 22nd, 2022. So today's figure, and I'm smiling a little bit because um, we're going to be talking about Mark Dean, Mark E. Dean. So many people have asked me, you know, um, during the years with my late fiance, uh, Mr. Uppity, um, Uppity Unicorn, so he would be Mr. Uppity, right? People have asked me, what is he like? And I promised myself I would never do a reveal. But if you want to know what he was like, I'm telling you this man is low key, high key twinning with Mr. Uppity. I mean, in terms of being a genius and a jock, in terms of just so much, okay? So, um, if I'm talking about Mr. Mark Dean with a lot of um, enthusiasm, then this is why it's always nice to remember my late fiance with a smile. And um, it's a rare man who compares, but this man compares. Who is Mark Dean? Honey, you would not have a tablet, a smartphone, a leg. <clears throat> this man owns three of the nine patents for the personal computer. The, this man is the inventor. I mean, here's the deal. There is a mathematician, I think his name is Alan, who was credited with laying down, you know, what we needed for, you know, the actual very first computer. So what's the very first computer? The first computer, it, uh, they were these humongous machines, right? You were not, they were not laptops. They were not the size of a desktop. They were not the size of, you know, even a living room sofa. They were huge, okay? They were huge, okay? The very first computers. But this is a man who worked for IBM, graduated from Stanford, computer engineer, um, you wouldn't have a smartphone, you wouldn't have a PC. The PC as we know it, the computer that we have today, that is his invention. This is a man with 30 patents pending and 20 under his belt. So here's my issue with so much of Black History Month. You have to ask yourself why it is so important for the media every single time Black History Month comes up to teach us about people who invented peanut butter to teach us about people who invented ironing boards, but never about Mark E. Dean, because I'm telling you, all up and through IBM, this man's name is still mentioned. They haven't forgotten who this man is. I am telling you, and I'm looking straight into my own face in the camera. You wouldn't have a Bill Gates. You wouldn't have a Steve Jobs. You wouldn't have a Michael Dell without a Mark E. Dean. Let's be very clear. The inventor, the person, I'm, he was on a team of 12 people, the leader of that team. So there are people who would, you know, try to say, well, you know, it was a team of people. Who was a team lead? Him. Who gave all the directives? Him. Who told them what to do and how to do? Him. So why don't you know that an African American man invented what you have? Like, like literally all over the world. There are people who have these conversations. What have black people even offered to modern day society? What are you people good for? You take, 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 what do you give? literally your entire quality of life this is not forgive me this is not a jamaican this is not a Niger. this is not like it's it's an african-american stolen from africa shipped to america hundreds of years of chattel slavery in these united states these people who people claim are so worthless your entire life your entire life all of the technology you enjoy, those patents, what, what created the thing that helped you to get a tablet and a laptop and a smartphone and all these things, honey, the ingenuity of Mark Dean.